Hey kids, and welcome to the Sunday School series focusing on science experiments and how we can relate them to scripture in our own personal life. I hope you guys all had a good week and are looking forward to doing some more Christian chemistry. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a sticky situation? I mean, have you ever been in a situation where it was hard to tell right from wrong or good from evil? Perhaps you're taking a math test and your best friend whispers to you, hey, what's the answer to number seven? Or perhaps you're at a store and your best friend steals a candy bar and hands it to you very happily. What do you do? When you're in a sticky situation, you can be confused on how you should respond. You want everyone to be happy and you want the end result to be good, right? Well, just because you make everyone happy and you're nice to everyone and the, the end result is good doesn't necessarily mean that your decision was right. I wish it was always easy to identify right from wrong. Like it's easy to identify hot from cold, right from left, sweet from sour, or solid from liquid. Hmm, wait a minute. Sometimes it's actually hard to identify liquid from solid. And this makes me think of a really cool science experiment. To the lab, let's go. Hey kids, and welcome to the Sunday School Science Lab where we're performing some Christian chemistry. Today we're gonna to be focusing on what to do when we're in a sticky situation and how to tell the difference between right from wrong or good from evil. Now I think this lesson will be my absolute favorite and I had to break it down into two different sections. And I also have some lab assistants today. Daniel, Zoe, and Rylan will be helping out with the experiment. Now the reason why this will be my favorite experiment is because we are gonna be defying Newton's law of viscosity and we're gonna be making some non-Newtonian fluids or slime. Let's go. For this science experiment, we are going to be making slime. You will need a baking soda, food coloring, saline solution, and Elmer's glue. You will need four ounces of Elmer's glue, which we already have in the bowl, and we will need to put some baking soda in while well, you stir that. And you stir it nice and well, and then we are going to, oops, we're going to put some And then the last ingredient is saline solution, and you'll need one tablespoon of that. Yeah. Okay, it actually looks like water. Yeah, it does. Wow. And then it's a bit. It kind you of like need to uh, mix. Yeah, it's like You need cake. to mix it until it's at your desired um, consistency. Takes a little bit to mix. I want to um, it. Takes a little it. bit to mix. There you go. Uh, sometimes you need to add a little bit of water to it. Oh, that so um, cool. But then you get your slime. So guys, tell me what the slime feels like. I think it's thick, goopy, and sticky. I think it's floppy, but it's slimy. I think it's squishy. And you guys like playing with slime? Yeah. So let me ask you another question. Is slime a solid or is it a liquid? I think it's a solid because it's firm and thick. I think it's a liquid because it flows. I think it's a both. Playing with slime is a lot of fun because it's sticky. But when you're in a real life sticky situation and you're having a hard time distinguishing between right and wrong or good from evil, it's not so much fun. We're gonna continue this lesson next week and learn more about non-Newtonian fluids or slime and be able to tell the difference between solid and liquid. And we're also going to learn about how God offers us guidance when we are struggling and have a hard time telling what is right from wrong. But before we close, let me read the scripture verse to you. It's Proverbs chapter three, verse five through six. It says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. All right, kids, I look forward to seeing you next week for some more Christian chemistry. Bye-bye.